The Kaitiaki or Guardians of Amonga, north of Auckland, say a controversial shooting club should never have been allowed to operate there because the land is wahitapu, or sacred. Auckland Shooting Club, north of Kokopakupa, is embroiled in a bitter fight with a neighbouring meditation centre, and locals as well, over its right to operate. And now the hapu, Nati Rongo, is joining the fray and, and wants to have the land recognised as a site of cultural significance, which could potentially affect any future activities on the land. Joanna McKenzie filed this report. We're standing close to the peak of um, Maunga Tuirangi, and we're looking east along the very ridges that our ancestors traversed. Ngāti Rongo Komatua, William Kapea, walks on his hapu's maunga, describing what he sees. They, they were an intricate web of traffic, foot traffic, that um, were important for the survival of us as an iwi, you know, sort of, um, we fished both coasts. The maunga is very important for his hapu, as it's what they first saw when they arrived in the Kaipara Harbour. Mr Kapea says it's the springs that are wahitapu and make this area so special. We know for a fact that one of the springs up here was used for the bathing of warriors before and after a battle. And they were significant and that's why this is so important to us because the tapu associated with that particular area is sacred. William Kapea says the hapu has no issue with the gun club but a spiritual area like Tuherangi is simply not an appropriate place to have a shooting range. He's so concerned he's held a meeting at the Maunga with the police's Māori liaison officers to explain what the site means to his hapu. It's not that we're opposed to the gun club, we're opposed to the effects of tapu when you associate that activity where these people are ignorant to what's there. The hapu has made a nomination to Auckland Council's heritage team to recognise the site as culturally significant, but it's been told the application must come from its iwi. Manager of Heritage at the Council, Noel Reardon, says the process is lengthy and far from straightforward. Plan change is probably a year and a half long process. So this is not a quick fix. This is going to be slow, methodical. It will be, the council will ensure it gets done right because what you're doing is you're putting controls on private landowners. So it has to be done right, it has to be done in consultation with landowners and it has to recognise the mana whenua values. The unitary plan so far has 75 sites scheduled as being of cultural significance and another 40 are soon to be added. Even so, Mr Reardon says that barely scratches the surface of Auckland. There are tens of thousands of sites that will have those sorts of values and we will have lost tens of thousands because over the period of centuries, the knowledge of those sites has lost. But there's only 75 sites scheduled in the unitary plan. There's yeah. a lot more sites out there than there are sites that are protected. But he says going through the process can be meaningful for mana whenua and landowners. I've been on site where the landowner has wanted to urbanise an area and mana whenua have said this is the significance of this place to us and the landowner has turned around and said I always wondered why I felt the way I did when I was walking over this area of land. That landowner in particular has changed his plans as a result. RNZ contacted Raymond O'Brien, one of the owners of the land where the gun club is based, but he didn't want to speak on the record. Neighbours who live next to the club say shooting has reduced in the last month since the wintry weather set in and the police revoked the club's pistol licence. Itamaki Makoto for Checkpoint. Joanna McKenzie Tene.